Halo pencinta speaker corner Di taman ini ada beberapa orang Inggris yang bersyahadat dan menjadi muslim Dimulatkan oleh pendapat ataupun pengajar-pengajar Islam yang ada di taman ini Sayang sekali, tapi itulah kenyataannya Kita tidak tahu bagaimana dan apa alasannya Sehingga mereka menjadi mualaf dalam video berikut ini, ada seorang mualaf Inggris yang pernah beberapa kali berdebat ataupun berdiskusi dengan Bob. Dalam perjalanan waktu, terjadi perubahan yang begitu signifikan dalam cara orang tersebut dalam berhubungan ataupun berkomunikasi dengan orang-orang. Ada perubahan yang begitu mencolok ketika dia belum menjadi muslim, sewaktu menjadi muslim dan begitu pula terjadi perubahan dalam dirinya setelah dia memutuskan untuk meninggalkan islam link video sewaktu menjadi seorang mualaf dan mengkonfrontasi bob ada dalam deskripsi di bawah siapakah dia dan apa penyebab sehingga akhirnya dia memutuskan untuk keluar dari islam mari simak videonya dan dukung usaha penerjemahan ini dengan cara like dan subscribe dan tentunya bunyikan lonceng untuk mendapatkan video-video selanjutnya So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm with Luca Now you may remember Luca Is that Luca? That is Luca Oh man, yeah, Luca. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what Luca, you? that's you sir Oh, good to see you brother Good to see you Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, some of you guys, some of you guys may remember, you, you, some of you guys may remember Luca. Um, he, he, as a Muslim, he said certain things on camera um, that he would now like to repudiate publicly, and we want to give him that opportunity because the statements that he made are on Soko films, and we're conscious of the fact that people may try to use those videos against him. So, I want to state for the record that this video now is all is 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 newer than any controversial video that may have included Luca so in other words this is the most up-to-date opinion of Luca today and I, I want to uh, bear that in mind so Luca um in in the past you've when you were a Muslim you said that you wanted to own that you were happy to own slaves that you are happy to marry, have children married. Is having sex, is marrying children right or wrong? The Prophet, peace be upon him, married Aisha. When she was? Six and consummated at? the marriage when she was nine. There you go. And do you condemn that? She'd gone through menstruation. Do you condemn that? After she'd gone through menstruation. Do you condemn that? You told me in the marriage. We'll take the non-answer as he does not condemn it. Listen to this story. I'll quote the reference. I have a slave girl and I used and I used to have intercourse with her so he has sex with his slaves now we know why he wants to have slaves here's my question are you listening here's my question Umar replied he said to him beat your wife no did you all hear that? No! Umar said to the man, Beat your wife! Do you condemn Umar? That's my question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Show me that hadith. We got my brother. I was a guest of Umar one night, and in the middle of the night, he went and hit his wife, and I separated them. When he went to bed, he said to me, Ari Tawa doesn't want this guy in front of camera because he knows how embarrassing he is. Um, what is your opinion on these two topics now? So, I mean, I've had to think about it and obviously I've, I've come to the conclusion that slavery is wrong. Uh, you know, child marriage is wrong and I reject those, those things okay. completely. And am I right in understanding, I mean, I know I'm right, but like you're no longer a Muslim you're now an agnostic yes that's correct yeah right so so all of those videos in the past and I've got to say personally that the first week that I saw you having gone through this transformation the energy and the way that you related to me was a complete 180 turnaround you know it was civil it was friendly and I appreciate it and I think that 
that yeah, I, I hope that this can be the beginning of a, a genuine interaction and conversation between me and you. Great, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy. Brilliant. Happy to do that. So peace, Luca. No, no animosity. No, I, for me, the no. past is the past. Yeah. That was your former self. You're a new person, and I want to deal with the the agnostic Luca. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think that anyone on Soko Films or anyone in any way should judge Luca based upon opinions that he has now repudiated and rejected. Yeah. Uh, can I say something, something yes, else? Of course. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I come here to the park just to talk to people, to debate, to be, debate with people. I don't come here, you know, to play politics. You know, obviously as a Muslim, to an extent I was. Uh, and now I, I reject that, you know, and I just come here, you know, and try to be as unbiased as possible and keep, be as open-minded as possible. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good day, Luca. Take care. So, guys. So that's it. I, I just want you. To, I just want everyone to remember, Luca has renounced Islam. He has rejected those views that he used to have, yeah. and no one should judge him. No, 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 no. But keep him in your prayers, yeah, we love you, Luca. because because rejecting Islam yeah. is only half a journey. Until someone accepts Christ, they haven't completed that journey. And what we're about, particularly on Soko Films, on Bob of Speaker's Corner Channel, is to bring people to Christ, not just to get them to leave Islam. Okie dokie. I hope you're listening to Apostate Prophet. Yes. I hope you're, I hope you're listening to Apostate Prophet. So, no, 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 I'm going to do a talk here. I'm going to do a talk here. Jadi itulah teman-teman bahwa sangat mungkin orang Kristen menjadi mualaf dikarenakan orang Kristen tersebut tidak memperoleh informasi yang cukup mengenai ajaran Islam. Orang Kristen yang telah mempunyai informasi mengenai ajaran Islam sudah sepatutnya mengembarkan dan menyebar luaskan hal tersebut. Karena hal ini tidak bisa kita andalkan pada penutua gereja, apalagi pada pendeta ataupun pastor. Agar sebelum ada orang Kristen yang mualaf, mereka terlebih dahulu mempunyai pengetahuan yang cukup mengenai Islam. Jangan sampai mereka bersyahadat dahulu, baru setelah itu, belajar tentang ajaran Islam ingatlah kita tidak sedang berada di tengah-tengah serigala tapi kita sedang bergaul bersama serigala terima kasih sudah menonton dan dukung terus channel ini dengan cara like dan subscribe agar saya lebih bersemangat dalam menerjemahkan dan menampilkan video-video lain sampai jumpa dan tetap semangat